Sacktown, what is going on? Sacktown Pete, back at it again. Happy Monday morning to everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Love the feedback that I got on Twitter. I love the comics. Love what I'm seeing, what I saw in the comments from the last yesterday's video. Um, today, I want to talk about, you know, Monty McNair and why I think Monty McNair has to be extended, right? He is going into his final uh, contract year this upcoming season, and he just uh, hired Mike Brown. And they agreed to a four-year deal. So the way I see it, there's no way in hell you can not bring back Monty McNair, who just hired your new and future coach in Mike Brown. So there's a minimal chance that Monty McNair is not let go of after the season. Very good chance that Vivek Ron and Devan staff will work on extending Monty McNair and his staff on a new contract and it has to be at least for another three, four years is what I'm thinking. Um, you know, Monty's going to want some insurance after this year, saying that he will be here, you know, longer than a year. And I 100% agree with that. He should be here longer than beyond next season or this upcoming season, should I say. Um, doesn't make any sense to not even have him come back. He just literally hired your, C, uh, your future coach in Mike Brown, who's going to probably, you know, when it comes to the contract wise, it's he he got a four year deal, guys, and whether he makes the four years or not, that is obviously yet to be remain to be seen. But we'll see. Got to give it a chance. You got to give Monty a chance, and it's just funny because you know Monty McNair going to his third and final year, he finally had the helm and the decision making abilities to hire his first coach, that guy who he wanted. Let's not forget Monty McNair did not hire Luke Walton. That was Vladi Divots, the previous. Uh, Kings GM, uh, Monty McNair did not bring in Alvin Gentry. He was hired by Luke Walton and who Luke Walton wanted as assistant staff back when Alvin Gentry became available and Luke wanted him to be a part of his coaching staff. So when Luke got fired, Monty had no choice to make Alvin the interim head coach and write it out the season. And here we are in the off season. He made that decision to not bring back Alvin Gentry and instead to offer him a role in the position in the front office, should I say. And I haven't heard anything about Alvin Gentry accepting that role or not. Uh, maybe they're waiting to be – with Joe Dumars actually being out, there could be a decision or announcement that we might get pretty soon about maybe Alvin Gentry might be that guy. He might take Joe Dumars' role in the basketball front office for the Sacramento Kings. But – I'm looking forward to it, man. Honestly, this is a fresh breath of air. Uh, and Monty, we trust. Been saying that since the day he got hired and took over the Sacramento Kings job. Um, he's got a lot to work on now as far as the roster goes and the upcoming draft. Um, in a couple of weeks, we will find out where the Kings will be picking in the NBA draft lottery. Um, whether they keep that pick or not, it's yet to be remain to be seen. Um I'm 50-50, not sure where we're picking, to be exact, but most likely um, there's a good chance we might keep the draft pick and see what we um, if the player becomes available in the draft, you know, if it's the seventh pick or top five or whatever it is. Uh, we'll see. You know, he's, Monty McNair has hit back-to-back -back home runs with his draft picks. This will be his third draft as a Sacramento Kings GM, and uh, we will see. I'm excited. I'm excited for Mike Brown to be in the mix now. Um God, we got the whole coaching, um, you know, opening and fulfilled out of the way. As the playoffs get deeper, um, teams are going to and coaches are going to be wanting to prep for the draft and the combine and the offseason moves and the roster shakeups. So um, it's going to get it's going to get real here pretty soon, guys. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm honestly looking forward to it. Monty McNair has to stick around, and I think Monty McNair will stick around. Uh, bearing a crazy, crazy uh, situation or turn of events, I don't see Monty McNair uh, not coming back as a Sacramento Kings GM going to his final year. Um, an extension will be announced. Um, I think they will just want to get out of the way and not wait last minute. Don't let it become a distraction because we all know distractions can lead, lead to um, uncertain thoughts, you know, uncertain futures and feelings. So, I'm pretty sure I'm very confident the Sacramento Kings will get a new deal done for Monty McNair. And uh, he has to stay uh, beyond this upcoming season. There's just no question about that. So with that being said, looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to seeing our new coach tonight. Um, the Warriors do got a game tonight. 
Uh, he actually will be the assistant coach for the Golden State Warriors throughout their playoff uh, run. And there's a good chance we might not actually see him physically in Sacramento Kings colors until the Warriors lose. So the Golden State Warriors, man, they can go to distance. They can make it to the finals. Um, we might not see him until June or July, guys. Uh, that's how good of the uh, team Golden State Warriors are. and uh, But I don't mind that. Honestly, he's great to it. Um, he's going to be the Sacramento Kings coach, and he's going to be in the Sacramento Kings colors uh, when that run, when the Golden State Warriors are eliminated in the playoffs or whether they win the championship, and he will uh, be here in Sacramento with the Kings when it's all said and done. So let me know your guys about uh, let me know your guys thoughts about Monty McNair and how you feel about him and uh, should he not be back or should he be back? I mean, to me, like I said, guys, it's a no brainer. He's gonna be back. Um, he's gonna be back, and I think that it's gonna be even better to have him get extended once he makes these amazing roster moves that he's gonna make this off season. Uh, what it has to do with the draft pick in the draft, and what that carries over him working with Coach Mike Brown and staff to uh, revamp and reshake up the roster for the Sacramento Kings. And I'm looking forward to hearing from Demonis Sabonis and De'Aaron Fox as well, uh, whether their input helped with the hire with Mike Brown or whether they just like, no, nah, we, uh, we're not going to give our inputs. Monty, do your thing. This is your decision. So um, I, thought, I did want to mention that, you know, Mark Jackson uh, will get another opportunity very soon. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that, Mark Jackson is a very good candidate for and seeking to get it, be back on the sidelines and get a head coaching job, head co- coaching gig pretty soon. And it was pretty funny uh, over the weekend to see uh, Vivek Ranadive and his daughter Anjali Ranadive courtside at the Warriors game, game three against the uh, Memphis Grizzlies. And, you know, Mark Jackson's obviously broadcasting the sidelines. And uh, Mike Brown's obviously on the bench with Steve Kerr as assistant Golden State Warriors uh, coach. So that was pretty funny, like how all three of them were in the same building and maybe Vivek and staff talked to Mike Brown after the game and told him that, hey, you're going to be our guy moving forward. So uh, pretty funny. Uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, great start to the week, I guess. I'm glad we got this coaching uh, staff, uh, coach, head coaching job filled and moving forward. You know, let's uh, have a good week. Let's uh, continue to uh, work with what we got and I'm eager to get my, Mike Brown in here, man, and work with uh, Monty McNair and staff. Uh, both of them should always be on the same page and uh, it's a good start. It's a good feeling and they should definitely uh, have some roster decisions to make. And I think that with them both being on the same page, the roster decisions will be made by you know Monty and him. So uh, with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Have a good Monday. Have a good rest of your week. I will see you guys in the next video. God bless. Keep pushing forward. Have a great day, Sacktown. Peace.